Carolina, the seventh poorest state in America. Do you know this? Grab something off the dollar menu, cause that's all we can afford tonight. <laughs> South Carolina peeps. <laughs> all right, nah. All right, bro. Nah, he, this ain't even supposed to be funny. <laughs> this ain't even supposed to be funny, bro. That's wild. That's all we can afford tonight. <laughs> he he been rogue. What's going on, Clitch? What? What up? What up? What up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we're in the clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen. Look at pictures today. You feel me? We're gonna be checking out top ten states with the highest poverty in America. Poor states of 2023. So this is good. Oh, it's gonna be very interesting to see what states uh, ain't doing too well out there. They ain't, ain't ain't bringing in no type of money and economy in those particular states are probably awful. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna check them out, and y'all probably <laughs> in the uh, on the in the Twitch right now. Shout out to those watching us on Twitch. Y'all guess which states y'all think is probably gonna be the number one state. Somebody, with they're the... saying Alabama and Atlanta. <laughs> Boys already giving out the predictions, and so we're we're gonna see who ends up being the number one state with the uh, poorest, uh, the highest poverty. Man, let's get right into this one, man. Let's go. United States. There are several states that have struggled with poverty for years. Damn, the, the poverty house. rate here is similar to that of African countries. <clears throat> Damn. In this video, whoa, we will whoa, be highlighting the ten poorest states in the U.S. <laughs> he said it's similar to uh, the ones in, in African countries. There's a lot of African countries that are, you know, we don't know you that. know. We don't know that. That's what's been advertised to us, man. Come on, Ross. You and this white dude is a part of the problem. No, bro. It's, like it's, that. bro, you you know, there's a lot of countries. I, I get it. You a lot of under the, underdeveloped the countries in Africa, bro. bro. Who's to say they poor? If you don't have readily drinking, fresh drinking water available, it's a good chance you're not in the richest of situations. Yeah, Am unless I, right? I can go whip some up real quick. Oh. Hey, bro, you want some water? I can make some. <sighs> oh, Dirty God. pond. I know how to filter my water. Who's really poor? Us or them? <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to do this with Dub, y'all. I remember, I remember UNICEF back in the day. I don't know if my change really got to Africa. <sighs> Mifra. Mifrica? I, I never forget Mifrica. In 2023, based on statistical data and analysis. America. One, Mississippi. We're in Mississippi, the nation's first poorest state. In Mississippi, 19.4 percent of people live in poverty. Somebody say, Damn. And nearly one in four families earns less than about twenty-five thousand dollars annually. That's Damn. Funny. That's the not same funny. poverty rate as the African nation of Namibia. All That's right. poor. Here we go, bro. Bro, he's putting things in perspective. All right, I get it. Uh, Why he got to keep going to Africa though? Like, because it's one of the it's one of the continents with the most poorest countries. It's, you know what? We're gonna pot about this because I ain't even gonna do it right here. But if, if resources weren't taken, you see where I'm going? Do you see where I'm going? Factors that contribute to the very poor atmosphere here are a 6.85 percent unemployment rate. And up until a couple That's years crazy. ago, one in four Mississippians wasn't finishing high school. Whoa! Hard to get ahead when you don't study. <clears throat> when you Google Mississippi, the first auto suggest is why is Mississippi so poor? So why is Mississippi so poor? For many of the reasons we've already talked about before. It's just worse here than anywhere else. Poor education and limited job opportunities are a big factor. 2. Louisiana. Damn. We're heading back to the south where we will remain for most of the rest of our unwealthy excursion. Damn! The next stop Damn. takes us to Louisiana. He said we gonna remain down here for the... He disrespectful. <laughs> Damn! So number one was Mississippi. Number two, right on next door to Louisiana. Wow. Which I kind of understand. I, I, it's, yeah. it's more a country and, you know, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like... -ish. Yeah, it's not... You have them little small towns and stuff like that. It's not much infrastructure in a lot of them towns. Yeah. So, yeah. Too bad we don't have enough money to buy booze. They look like they're having so much fun. <laughs> Here, more than 19% of residents live in poverty, and families command a yearly paycheck of around $46,000. 
that's not enough for many people <clears throat> to climb the success ladder. There's not the statistics that are eye opening. Louisiana is last in the nation for income gap by gender. Louisianans are third Damn. worst for food insecurity and third worst for education scores. Damn. The last statistic makes it tough to entice job growth since the state doesn't have the educated population to support it. Oh, There's a sense of uh. fatalism in Louisiana, too. Poor people just remain poor here. It is what it is they say. Damn. All we can do is pray they say. There's little urgency here to seek change. Oh. Damn. Three, West Virginia. What? The poverty rate is 18% in West Virginia, and families bring in about $44,000 a year, both very low numbers. I wouldn't However, have guessed that. A couple bright spots keep West Virginians from ranking as even poorer. <sighs> the unemployment rate isn't so bad here, so that's good. And the cost of living is so low here that low salaries mean more families can get by and remain out of poverty. Oh, then that works Migration out then. Stuff. Huh? It works out then because everybody is still <sighs> employed in able to keep a steady household because the cost of living is low. So yeah, I didn't know that. Out. I did not know the cost of living in West Virginia was, uh, you know, low like that. I would have never guessed. Studies have shown that 60% more people moved out of West Virginia than moved in. And West Virginia is the only state where death rates exceed birth rates. Whoa. Four, New Mexico. That ain't good. Right. Yo, death rates exceed your birth rates? Hey, I did not know that. That's a whoa. I did not know that at all. Damn. They're not, they not getting down. They're getting down. Jeez. Now New Mexico on the list? I didn't know in this New either. Mexico, 20% Appreciate that big end, mate. live in poverty, and families bring in about $46,000 a year. Well, that's never about $10,000 less than the national average. Whew. One in three kids lives <clears throat> in poverty here which is one big reason New Mexico ranked last in the nation for places to raise a family. Damn. When you look at the nation's most federally dependent states, New Mexico is at the top. Wow. That means New Mexico can't collect enough from income taxes and must rely on federal subsidies to help pay for schools, roads, health care, and welfare programs. Wow. And we just talked about Louisiana. They receive the most assistance from the U.S. government to make up their state budget. Five. That's crazy. Alabama. Lots of people in Alabama are bro to the OK. Families here bring in about $46,000 as a household annually, Jeez. earning about $1,000 less than the average household each month. And about one in five residents lives in poverty here. <clears throat> yep, y'all called Alabama it. Alabama so poor? Like other states we've talked about so far, one side will say unregulated capitalism has created severe poverty here. Mm. Other sides will say Alabamans aren't working hard enough and can control their own financial fate. We're not going to take sides on this, but the poverty is alarming nonetheless. In many Alabama counties, it looks third world, where poverty rates reach 40%. Jeez. The United Nations Damn. usually does research on poverty across the world, but recently, visited parts of America to see how bad poverty is here. Their first stop, Alabama. Their report was quite compelling and discussed conditions similar to what we see abroad. Six, Arkansas. Let's see, like real quick, Next like on, on our a list serious of note. Course. Um, mm -hmm. that's why it's important that we, <clears throat> uh, try to fund funnel money back into our country, um, quicker and actually first before we send it out a lot of times because we got a lot of poverty and stuff like that going on here. Like uh -huh. a lot of our own Americans are not being educated. Like, look how they say about Louisiana. Like, a lot of jobs don't go there because they don't have the educated people to live there to 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 take on those jobs. So that's mm -hmm. where you start seeing them problems. And if you hear in these states are needing to be bailed out every year because they're not even getting enough money in income tax, that lets you know, all right, we got a major problem at home. Mm -hmm. Let's take her at home so we can be beneficial to whatever other country in need that we may need to help. So, yeah. Wise words. Wise words, right? Eh? States in America is six ranked Arkansas. Here in Arkansas, a lot of bank accounts are empty. The natural state has in 16 point. Why they say it? Yeah. Damn. Now you see them that's, that's cold, bro. No, they have cold. No, that's not. No, it's how they cold. worded no. it, bro. Come on, bro. A I lot of bank already. accounts are empty, bro. That's the. F that's facts, though, right? Didn't know didn't what you told me earlier? Facts. It's. It's how they were saying it, though. Hey, bro, facts. A, a lot of narrator roasting them. Facts, though. That's been different, doing, though. Been, 
Come on, bro. Why would I say it's I'm playing the race card, but nah, a lot of bank accounts are empty. <laughs> it's just, man, that's just so. It's straight to the point. It's just saying, like, just no emotion. Damn, bro. Zero percent poverty rate, and families bring in about fifty-two thousand one hundred twenty-three dollars a year. We should note that here in Arkansas, smaller paychecks can be stretched much further than in other states, but it's still tough times here. Mm -hmm. Arkansas used to be pretty much the poorest place in the country, but they're not as poor as before. Back in the 1940s, nearly the half of all less. Arkies lived in poverty. So that's good, economically, slowly, things are improving here. 7. Kentucky. Oh wow. Kentucky residents earn the fifth lowest salaries in the nation, at $46,000 a year and one in five Kentucky peeps lives in poverty. If there is a bright side here, at least the unemployment rate is about average. Oh. So there are opportunities here to get ahead here. There's ways you can get out of the poorhouse, Kentucky guy. People make like $50 poorhouse. a week giving blood, but you have- to say the poorhouse, bro. <laughs> I've never heard someone inform us, but roast yeah. with information, bro. He's he's silently roasting with information. Yeah, this nigga said the poor, the poor house, bro. <laughs> this, um, that is wild. He's, so I said he's kicking him while they're down. bro. But he's informing us with facts just to tell us these niggas is broke. Don't tell us a whole state ain't got no money in their bank account. Yeah. Don't do that shit. Talking about, but everybody broke, so <laughs> it kind of works out. I ain't trying to laugh. I'm not either. It's just we got to, it's, it's the way like you say it. Everybody broke, so it kind of cancels out, like, you know. Oh, my God. To donate oh, good blood. I don't know if there's more meth or Mountain Dew running through a Kentucky man's veins. Eight. South Carolina. <laughs> Who wrote this shit? That's some old ass shit. I don't know if it's meth or Mountain Dew running through these niggas, man. <laughs> he don't know which one it is. <laughs> okay. Nah, he he really being disrespectful now. Okay, okay. I, say, I don't know if it's more <laughs> meth or Mountain Dew. <laughs> That's. That's he being disrespectful. I already know what kind of people arrived too. in South Carolina, the seventh poorest state in America. Didn't know this. Grab something off the dollar menu, cause that's all we can afford tonight. <laughs> South Carolina peeps. I know. I bro. Nah, he, this ain't even supposed to be funny. <laughs> this ain't even supposed to be funny, bro. That's wild. We can only get on the dollar menu. That's, that's all we can, we can afford tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he he been rogue. And what's crazy? You got these this sentimental sad music yeah. in the play in the background. All these niggas voice. over here talking about these niggas can't even afford they make double. <laughs> Big Mac who hadn't had oh one my before. dog. Oh. Dog, this sneaky, uh, bro, it's like progressively he's getting he's worse. They're straight struggling. He getting they tired. Have a poverty Wait, go rate back. He said straight struggling? Households, that's all we can afford tonight. <laughs> South Carolina peeps are straight struggling. What they have peeps a poverty come rate from? of 16.9%. Nigga... He's speaking slang now. <laughs> this nigga say South Carolina peeps are straight struggling. <laughs> he didn't just say that. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. <laughs> All right, bro. This video took a crazy. It did, fam. Oh my god! Bringing in less than fifty thousand dollars annually, oh. and ninety percent of working adults here live paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> in America, seventy-five percent of full-time workers live paycheck to paycheck. That's a real big difference. Damn. As we'll see as we continue to move through this list, most of our poorest states are in the South. There are many theories as to why the South is so poor. But many economists agree that going back to Civil War days, the northern states invested in infrastructure and technology, while the South remained committed to farming. Yeah, as a result, kind of farming. education fell behind, mm. as did the southern economy. Mm -mm. Okay. 9. Nevada. Did not Nevada is an interesting state. 
It ranks as the ninth poorest in the nation, but has guess. varying wow. levels of wealth across the state. Yeah. yeah, Las Vegas and Reno are all filled with wealthy, mm -hmm. successful people, Everybody but also has broke. some high levels of income inequality. The rest of the state population is pretty poor and way underemployed relative to the rest of the country. Wow. You could drive three hours and see completely different pockets of success in Nevada. The poverty level sits at 12.9%, while unemployment measures 7.12%, the worst in the country. People here work very, very hard, but due to the lack of thriving new technology it's and a poor education system, right there. it remains one of the poorer states in the nation. On the brighter side, Nevada is quickly becoming one of the more progressive states in the country. 10. Michigan. Michigan? Uh, you probably didn't expect to see Michigan on this right. list as it ranks the 10th poorest state in America. Wow. And it did, in fact, move up some spots from last year when it didn't place in the top 10. Michiganders earn the 18th lowest income in America, $63,202, but they're decently employed, proving that folks in the Wolverine state are hard workers. Plus, the cost of living is so low here, that even decent salaries go a long way. However, mm. it seems cities like Detroit and Flint make national mm. headlines for the wrong reasons nowadays and yeah. this ranking puts that into perspective. As the number of people experiencing homelessness increases across the country, more cities and states have passed laws making it illegal to live out of tents and cars or sleep in public spaces. More than 100 jurisdictions have had such bans on the books for years, according to the National Homelessness Law Center. In recent months, high-profile measures have been approved targeting homelessness in many western U.S. cities and across entire states. Federal data shows 582,462 people were experiencing homelessness on a single night in January 2022. Damn. Experts warn more people will enter homelessness as housing costs increase as has been the case for decades in cities such as New York and in much of California. If visible, unsheltered homelessness continues to grow, city leaders will have an easier time passing measures advocates say criminalize basic needs such as sleep and sheltering oneself, Eric Tars, legal director for the National Homelessness Law Center, told. Damn! That is wild. He just ended it just like that? Yeah, he, after he didn't roast niggas for about... 10 right. minutes sneakers all right Which i'm done it. my job here is done bro. right you know, you know who's the menace here the narrator yeah now y'all now y'all see what i'm talking about <laughs> but hey bro that's that's pretty wild hey it's always educational to find out certain things about um your surrounding and just mm -hmm. uh anything in general when it comes to learning about poverty and how it affects people so that way you can <clears> learn how to not only avoid but how to be of help Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We need to start trying to figure out ways to be helping hands towards each other because it might be their problem, but eventually it's going to be all our problem. Because mm -hmm. right. a person that don't have nothing to live for or know where to live is dangerous. So, no, right. you seen that video about Portland. You know, they yeah. end up, once they start getting mayors and stuff and all that <clears throat> in the homeless community, and, you know, people start taking over each other's tents and areas, it can get dangerous, man. So, mm -hmm. but hey, if y'all enjoyed the video and this menacing narrator, let us know in the comments <laughs> down below uh, what else we should be checking out. Your thoughts on it as well. Where's your state on this list? I yeah. didn't see Texas on there. Mm -mm, nah, there's, there's money down here. That's why niggas keep moving down here. Stop it. <clears throat> well, at least to Houston. Stop moving to Houston, please. Yeah, they got a lot of other parts of Texas that people yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, to. yeah, yeah, nah. But there's money down here. Obviously, there's a lot of money down here. So. I'm going to hope it stay that way. But we love you guys. Continue to spread love. Be love as usual. And we catch y'all in the next one. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.